All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. The first story that I have for you guys today, Patrick Moore. It looks like Patrick will be competing in 2021. It looks like we were right. A lot of these physique updates that he's been posting, he looks like he's in really good shape. He looks like he's in prep mode. He looks like he's getting ready for a show in the near future. Um, And we speculated in a previous video that he's probably going to compete pretty soon prior to the Olympia. And he just posted a picture on his Instagram story where he basically re-signed with the IFBB. He updated his uh, pro card membership for 2021 which essentially is what you need to be able to compete in a competition that year. And in addition to the contract in the new pro card for 2021, he also put the caption, put me in the game, coach. Now, to me, it looks like he could be pretty close to a show. I don't think he's as far away as 10 weeks out for a show like the Chicago Pro, but I don't think he's in good enough shape for a show yet like the New York Pro. So maybe a show like Cali? which I believe is the very last weekend of May or maybe a sooner show than Chicago. But in any case, I'm pretty confident now we're going to see Patrick Moore take the stage sometime relatively soon. So shout out to Patrick Moore. I'm looking forward to seeing the size that he's put on, the improvements that he's made. Um, And hopefully, if and when he does compete, he has a much more successful season than he had last year in 2020. Now, next up in the news, speaking of the Chicago Pro, Akeem Williams posted another physique update. Well, this was posted by a strong spirit, Justin Miller, who is also the coach um, to George Peterson. He posted this posing update of Akeem Williams, and he says this was 10 weeks out from the Chicago Pro, filmed the day that he posted it. And he also says in the caption of that post that in this video, first you can see Akeem is in really good shape. He says Akeem is weighing 280 pounds in this video, which is very impressive considering the shape that Akeem looks to be in. He's posted several physique updates lately that he's looked like he's in really good condition. This one is no exception to that. He's certainly on track for a show in 10 weeks, um, if not ahead of being on track, which is probably where Akeem needs to be considering he's a guy that struggled with condition in the past. I don't need to remind you guys that Akeem was top six at the Olympia this year. Very, very impressive placing from Akeem, and we're going to find out this season if he's going to continue to improve upon that placing and continue to improve upon that physique that he brought to the Olympia, which is arguably the best physique he's ever brought to a pro stage. Um, So assuming Akeem continues this upward trajectory of nailing his conditioning, getting closer and closer to his all-time best, I'm assuming he's going to be right there in the mix at the Olympia this year after he qualifies at whatever show he winds up qualifying at, whether that be Chicago or another show in the late summer. I think Akeem's going to get that qualification. Obviously, he's not qualified already um, for 2021. But Akeem is a guy I've really got my eye on this season in 2021 um, to be one of the most dangerous guys that has not yet qualified for the Olympia. Both off the merit of his placing last year, And the the way he looks in these updates, I think he's going to bring something crazy come Chicago. Now, another guy that we're eagerly awaiting his return to the pro stage is Steve Kuklo, who recently responded to a comment on Instagram saying he'll be taking the stage in August. So it's been a while since we've seen him compete. And we were just talking about the Indy Pro last weekend. Steve won the first two ever Indy Pros. He was the two-time champ. And we haven't seen him compete in quite a while. Obviously, he sat out the 2020 Mr. Olympia as well. And it looks like 2021 is going to be the year that he attempts to qualify for the Olympia again and come back to the Olympia stage. As he says, he'll be competing in August. In August, you've got the Tampa Pro. You've also got the Texas Pro, the Europa Pro, and the Toronto Pro all happening in August. So maybe he's going to do all those shows or just at least compete in August until he qualifies. Um, And that might give him a good shot of qualifying, having that many shows in August. So we don't know which one because you do have Tampa, Texas, Europa, um, which is in Spain, and then the Toronto Super Show. So he could do any one of those, but I'm looking forward to seeing Steve on stage again. I think he's another guy that could be very dangerous in this current Olympia lineup. Um, So be on the lookout for Steve Kuklo in August. And now a word from our sponsors over at Labrada Nutrition. Come on. Come on. Uh. 
All right, now next up in the news, the Dana Lim Bailey comeback. It's something that she's teased at a couple of times on both Instagram and YouTube. But recently she put up this post on her Instagram page, which was a posing video in posing trunks. But the caption is what really interested me. She says, it's been about six years and I'm ready to get back in it. Day one progress photos. And she says, DLB daily shredded summer. And she's obviously going through women's physique poses in that video in women's physique posing trunks. And she was the first ever women's physique Miss Olympia back in 2013. Now, the last show that I know of her doing was the 2015 Arnold Classic, where she took second. And, of course, second at the 2014 Olympia, and she won the 2013 Olympia. So she's been on about a six-year hiatus competing, 2015 to 2021. And she says in the caption, it's been six years. I'm ready to get back in it. I would think she's referring to making a comeback to competition. But based on the way she responded to Flex Lewis's comment of this post, it looks like she's not actually competing. So a lot of people were sending this to me, getting excited for a potential Dana Lynn Bailey comeback to possibly the Olympia stage. And she says in response to Flex's comment, Flex says, does this mean you're going to come and spend a few days with me at the Dragon's Lair? What's the plan? And she says, definitely, but I'm not actually competing. But yes, I need to come train. So maybe she's just doing some kind of shred down um, to see how good of a physique she can get down to this summer and not actually compete. But I know there's a lot of people out there that would like to see her compete again. Personally, I think it would have to be in the figure division because I think women's physique has evolved uh, from 2013 to now to being a much more muscular class. And Dale and Bailey obviously is still very muscular, but I think a lot of the girls in physique today outmuscle her by a lot. So I think if she did come back, um, and actually compete, it would have to be in the figure category. But I, for one, would love to see Dana make a comeback. It doesn't look like she's going to compete based on that response in the comment section. But anything is possible. So thumbs up the video if you guys would like to see Dana Lynn Bailey make a comeback. And comment in the comment section below how well you think she would do if she did come back. And should it be figure or physique? Let me know down below. Now, next up in the news, some more New York Pro preview type stuff. Um, a recent physique update, the most recent physique update posted today of Nick Walker, posted by his coach, Matt Jansen. Um, you can kind of see him hit a quarter turn here. You can't see too much posing besides that, um, but he's posing for his coach. And I got to say, I think Nick looks phenomenal. I think a lot of people are eagerly awaiting how to see how Nick looks at the New York Pro, considering it's his second show ever. He looks to have made some improvements to his posing technique um, this past offseason that he's taken since the Chicago Pro of last year, where he took fourth, of course. And then, of course, you had the very public Instagram rivalry with bodybuilding superstar Blessing Awodabu, putting even more eyes and even more attention on Nick Walker and even more anticipation to see how he looks. I think based on everything we've seen so far, Nick looks really good. I think it's going to be a question of two things, and that is how conditioned Nick is and how much control he has over his midsection. I do think at certain points during the Chicago Pro, um, especially in the transitions, he started to breathe a little bit too heavily, um, which is a problem we see with a lot of guys that might have a blockier, wider midsection. And from the posing that he's posted, it looks like he's improved upon the way that he controls his midsection. So that's what I'm going to be looking for at the New York Pro when it comes to Nick Walker. Um, and I still believe he's in conversation for the top three here. But I do think with Nick, it's really, really going to come down to conditioning because obviously he's a shorter guy. He's a more compact guy. He's a more blocky guy just by the sheer attributes of his shorter physique. Um, and I think a guy like him that doesn't have the prettiest structure if he doesn't come in with pretty good, really good, crazy conditioning, I think that would really hurt him in this lineup. And that could that could make him sixth instead of third or sixth instead of the winner. Just how he comes in conditioned, I think it would really affect his physique negatively. But as of right now, based on everything I'm, I've seen, I'm leaning towards Hassan and Nick for one and two. I don't know what order it's going to be in, but you guys can let me know in the comment section below your New York Pro predictions. Now, next up in the news, finally, a strict curl story again, this time coming from Leonidas Arcana. We're getting kind of used to that. Recently, hitting a new PR on the seated strict curl. The seated strict curl, for those that don't know, um, is basically an exercise to reduce the drive from your legs and your back. Um, and it helps you train for the explosiveness of the strict curl movement. Recently, strict curling 108.5 kgs, which is the equivalent 
of about 240 pounds, 239.2 to be exact. And as you guys probably know by now, I don't need to tell you, the current strict curl world record is 249 pounds. Um, I say this every time we see Leonidas hit a PR. I think in the future he is going to be the guy that's gunning for that record the hardest. And I think right now he stands one of the best chances of being the guy to break that record. He's so young, got so much potential, constantly breaking PRs. Um, and I think we're, we've got our eyes on him early. I think we, we're been, we've been watching him early enough um, that we know he's going to be one of the guys challenging that record in the near future. So if and when Leonidas breaks that record, you guys will be able to say, hey, I remember that guy from Nick Strength and Power. We knew about this guy before he broke the record. We knew what was going down. Even more reason to click that subscribe button, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps out a lot. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already for the latest bodybuilding news and pro bodybuilding contest coverage, all that good stuff. Um, we'll keep you up to date here. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power signing out.